Wow. Everyone, I had to slowly walk into the shot so you guys could see my new beautiful fridge. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. Love. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kinsey. I um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, but I'm going to just kind of take you guys around. We're going to do a nice little like cozy day vlog. It's been raining this week, which has really just been quite the mood booster for me. I'm actually listening to mood right now, so I'm like thinking in those terms. Also, I'm wearing my The Uncomfortable t-shirt. These are no longer available, but if you guys want to go follow or even donate to The Uncomfortable. I've definitely talked about this on the podcast, but Dom, my best friend Dom, who's also coming to visit next week, by the way, so get excited for those vlogs, but she um, now has a podcast with Dear Media. It's called The Uncomfortable. So you guys should go listen. So good. I'm actually going to catch up and listen to all the episodes today. I just like haven't had a chance. And now we think we're coworkers. So that's fun. Anyways, I really just wanted to start the vlog here um, with my new fringe. I'm trying to give you guys like more life updates. I could have vlogged yesterday. I've been having lots of problems with the battery for this camera and the charger and them going missing and blah, blah, blah. So far this morning, it's like 11.20 already. Woke up, went on a long walk with Fitz. We're picking up Coco from surgery this morning. Story short, she had to get a bladder stone removed and we can pick her up today. And I just read that she has to be kennel rested for four weeks. Like, I cannot even, like, besides me taking her on walks and like on the leash and stuff, she has to be in the kennel. Actually, no, that's only for two weeks, but she can't play with anyone, any dogs or anything for four weeks. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad for her. Anyway, it's just like true dog mom things. Then I did 12, 3, 30. I cleaned my own bathroom. I've been doing laundry, just all that stuff. I just showered. Um, I've been using Function of Beauty everything, guys. This is not a deal. This is not sponsored. But you guys can use functionofbeauty.com slash I love you for 20% off your first order. It's like customized stuff. I use their customized like body wash next level and the hair serum i have it in my hair right now that i use from them is the best product i've ever used in my hair so like definitely check it out um for today for lunch i think i am gonna cook tonight because i feel like it but for lunch sakara actually sent me a bunch of meals i didn't even know this was coming and they just sent me like fully three meals for this week which is really exciting <sighs> I'm sure you guys are just over the moon excited to see inside the fridge, so I'll show you. But anyways, I have, this is a dinner, okay. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. So I try not to mix up the lunches, honestly. Ooh, no, that, why do I keep, I literally, everything I've touched this dinner. Ooh, this is like a burrito bowl. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited about this fridge. The lighting right now, it could be better. I'm not gonna lie, but we'll figure that out. Um, okay, so. I also have a baby fennel and artichoke pasta. I'm gonna have to decide what I want. Oh, and then the summer sun salad. I think I'm actually gonna do the pasta. I had velvet taco last night for the first time and it was the best meal I've had in so long. Liz and I went and I was like, I, literally to Liz the whole time, the whole night I talked about velvet taco and just how it was so incredible. And it's gonna be my new go-to place. So good, we went to the one on Henderson, but it's just amazing. So. Honestly guys, I did not leave my office at all yesterday because I was just so focused until like right before I had to leave for dinner. Oh, I was just on fire. Yesterday was a productive Monday and I got so much done. So today I'm actually gonna use it as a day to like goal set. I need to, first off, I need to work on the feeds for a few things and then also um, goal setting and reading. And I've kind of started writing too. Velvet taco, the love of my life. Yeah. Obsessed with you. Guys, they just brought Coco out to me. There, it's not a, um, oh, it's a client-free lobby. Well, I guess she's the client, but I wanna, oh, I'm afraid to look at her incision. First off, <laughs> I missed you, but her. Oh God, oh gosh, ooh. Yeah, I, I wish I wouldn't have looked at that. Ooh, girl, ooh, girl, ooh. Boy, do I feel bad for you. But I'm happy to have her back. Um, it's really gonna be a full-time Coco care for the next few weeks. Okay, I made it to a Starbucks drive-thru. The drive-thru is the most important part. Guys, the sun is coming out and that's just really ruining my mood. We know that I love a nice, gloomy, rainy day. And I'm sad to see it, even though it does look beautiful. I'm so happy to be reunited with the queen, Coco. They honestly gave her back to me, like, kind of gross. Like, even the cone, I'm like, it was kind of weird, I don't know. I mean, I really liked them, but 
Is that like normal? The biggest regret with her surgery is not getting her groomed before the surgery. I sh meant to do that and it's just like totally, totally slipped my mind. So if you guys are going through any bladder stone removals for your dogs, um, get them groomed first because I doubt she'll probably be able to for the next month. And I don't even think I would be able to. I don't know. I mean, she has staples and staples get removed in two weeks. So I'll be doing some research and figuring it out. So anyways, we were in the Starbucks drive through It's a really lazy, kind of loungy day and I I just felt like Starbucks was the move. Also, I have a free drink. Also, the pumpkin cold brew is back. Hi, I'm Dawn Roberts. This is the Uncomfortable Podcast. Beautiful. Uplifting black voices and I forgot how good this was. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, guys, I'm back home. A lot of you guys have recommended me to get a light therapy lamp. Guys, look at that in the background. And then when we get the new fan, wow. And then, oh, I think I forgot to say this, but I'm getting new hardwood throughout the entire house besides those stairs next week. So part of the time that Dom is here, we're just gonna go stay with my mom, so it's like fine. But anyways, um, okay, I posted a big Instagram long caption, just kind of about how I've been dealing um, a little bit more like heavily with like depression and anxiety, whatever, and how I definitely have seasonal depression, but I'm weird in the sense that I have it in the summer. So then I'm like, okay, but I don't want sunlight, I want gloomy. So I don't know if this will actually like be good for me, but a lot of you guys have recommended this. So if you guys deal with like seasonal depression in like the normal way where it's like winter or fall, um, I would recommend this. Oh, you can like change the settings. Hmm. Okay, well I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna put it in my office, I think. It wasn't too expensive on Amazon, it was like 30 or 40 dollars. I think it would be a great thing for like a lot of you. Um, I just don't know if like I necessarily need it. But anyways, um, I'm going to start working. My iPad is literally always dead and I'm just not even gonna bother with charging it right now. Just giving you a little update, it is currently 3.54 p.m. Dom, oh my gosh, not Dom. Well, I was on FaceTime with Dom, literally wearing her shirt as I paused her podcast to answer her FaceTime call. Anyways, um, we were just talking and also, since we are coworkers now, just brainstorming and talking about how we're gonna have a great week in Texas next week, or ne yeah, next week, oh my gosh. And we're just excited. But anyways, um, I have been doing a lot of podcast back end. So this consists of like the newsletter, which if you guys haven't joined the newsletter, you need to, um, which I actually haven't even gotten to that. I planned out the feed. I have been doing a lot of pitches and outreach and just booking and all of that stuff, which actually is like very time consuming. And I am planning a podcast episode for tomorrow. Also, I've just missed vlogging so much. So I'm so glad I'm vlogging today. And... Um, there may be a vlog week coming in soonish. I have some the only reason right now is because I have some videos that like need to go up and they're branded So I'm just waiting for the brand to um, like say yes essentially Anyway, it's just been doing some of that stuff um, I'm trying to upload a video right now. It's 4 p.m. What time do you guys watch YouTube? Like what time do you think is the best time to upload? I always upload in the morning because I feel like it does better on my channel But I'm about to post at 4 p.m. And I guess we'll just see still me guys on the couch. Um, I made a salad. Um, this is not sponsored. I've just been eating this food, but it's 4 p.m. right now And I'm basically gonna have two dinners, but I'm just eating a salad in the meantime um, And then Liz is gonna come over. And I'm gonna make some Dinner. I last night was just like, you know, I could I could be funny like I could be a comedian but the problem is that like only like a certain percent of the population understands my humor and I'm not like, you know, stand up. So this is like obviously a joke, but it's kind of become a thing. So I told her that we have to watch it so that I can prepare for my comedy career. So that's what we're doing. I knew I had computer work to do, but sometimes when you're doing it, like I thought I was gonna have a lot more time to like brainstorm and stuff today. It has really just been adding on and adding on and adding on. It's something else. I'm watching Emma Chamberlain's and James Charles videos. I really want to do a video where someone picks out my outfits for the week but I don't know who I want to film it with, so. All right guys, another organizational box came in for the fridge. It's definitely wider than I thought. I thought it would only fit like a 12 pack of drinks, but um, no, it's definitely gonna fit more, so I will show you guys. Of course, you know. Let me know if you guys hate the fridge portions of these videos, because I mean, I'm sure that most of you do. I just don't see how, like I love this stuff, but I'm just not sure if you guys love this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Also, like, still loving my nails. Need to get them redone, which I will this weekend. I'll probably just take off 
these. I mean, this is only dip. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, guys. Well, no, these are acrylics. Sometimes though, when I get dip, my nails actually get to this length and they're like really healthy. Very weird. Anyways, I'm gonna organize this. So, so that noise, seriously, I know it's because the doors are open. How do I make the noise stop? It's just too much for me, but anyways. Okay, so listen, this is a little bit big for my fringe. So that's unfortunate and it goes on this. Other than that, it's fine. I do wish it was thinner. Like I thought it was gonna be like this. Do you see what I'm saying? So I could separate my drinks. But at the same time, I do like this. And I want another one that's thinner here as well. Because I want to put, maybe I'll put like kombucha and all those fun drinks here. And then I'll put like iced coffee drinks and stuff there. Because I really do want to try out more. Because you guys know me and my drinks. I'm basically a drink influencer at this point. Okay, it's currently 6.50 p.m. I might use this and see if it makes my lighting better. Looks like I'm telling scary stories at a campfire. Anyways, um, this might sound like kind of crazy to a lot of you guys, but I I recently watched a vlog of Natalie Barbus and she said that she like asked for you. She said that she posted on like her Instagram story or something. I don't know how I missed this because I see all of her stuff. I like love her, but I think she like asked her prayer request or something. Maybe I'm getting this wrong. And she's like, I was just like praying over you guys and all of that stuff because she um, has been going through a whole thing with moving from home. If you guys are dealing with having to move home during COVID. I'm talking so much on my hands. Definitely watch her videos right now. They're like really, really great. But anyways, um, I felt like I should do that today. And I just like, I'm not someone who prays for like long periods of time normally, but I like put on worship music and I think I pray for like 30 or 40 minutes straight. And I just like went through the requests and I pretty much did it like individually. And then there were like legit thousands of requests. And so many of them, I'm not kidding, probably 80% of them were anxiety. The rest were breakups and jobs. So like there are thousands of people, you guys are not alone. Like all of the things that like, I'm right there with you with anxiety and depression. All this to say, I mentioned this because um, one, I love you guys. You guys have me, you can always DM me. And then two, we are all struggling with so much of the same thing. And I think especially reading that many people talking about anxiety and depression and that many people talking about heartbreak and job loss and finances and stuff like that I was just like wow it's so crazy how so often we feel so alone because these are things that we wouldn't like necessarily say out loud and like people wouldn't comment this on something either they're only sending it in to me because like no one else can see you know but basically all that to say you guys are not alone you're also not the only person in the world dealing with what you're dealing with um, it will get better it can get better and I'm so sorry but I hope that's encouraging at least to know that you're not the only one who's having these problems and you're not the only one who's having these thoughts and these struggles as always my Facebook group if you guys want to like talk to each other definitely join the Facebook group we're always constantly talking in there um, if you guys are into like more faith-based stuff I have an entire patreon it's the living room so I do a bunch of faith content and stuff like a podcast up today if you're into any of that sort of thing definitely check it out but um, yeah, join the Facebook group if you guys want more community. I know so many people have made friends in there. People have sort of podcasts together in there. Like, it's really crazy. So, I would definitely recommend that. Anyways, I feel so much better. Like, I I've expressed a lot recently how I was so down. And I feel so good. I think it just took me kind of hitting rock bottom and realizing, like, this is not a way to live. Um, I was being, like, almost self-destructive as well. And then just taking a few days and just taking a few days kind of like even to myself and just feeling so much better and just like getting back to me so I feel good anyways I'm actually might be starting on dinner soon because Liz is coming over soonish all right I'm starting to cook I'm just making pasta with tomato cream sauce um I'm not gonna walk you guys through it I will tell you how I made it um it's super easy but I am sharing it on story so you guys can follow my Instagram and go to my cooking highlight if you guys want the like step by step Guys, this looks bomb. Liz is here. Where's the remote? We have to try this light, okay? Liz, sit right here. This is the light I told you about yesterday. Oh, look, I got that all over my white countertops. Okay, tell me, do you feel happier? Oh, I feel like I'm telling you stories. I like this. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, a little bit bright. Um, but I think you have do to you feel like this is bringing you more joy? I think you have to sit for a second. Oh, is that how you do it? 
We're like not even mocking, we're actually being serious. Well, I think like, you can just like flash my meme here on No, like, I know, but you're yeah. supposed, I think you're just supposed to put it like in front of your face and you just like, you know? I think I feel better with this. Can you switch it? A little bit brighter? I like the dip, oh, I just hit off. I like that one, that's my fave. I could see a difference when it was like off and then versus on though. Yeah. What, like the light? <laughs> what? Okay, well, I mean, just like the feeling, like, yeah. you know, when it's dark, it's like dark. It like sounds crazy, but I, I actually do think I see how this works. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I'm like, just like one of the many things. People like rave just about one, these. Just one of those things that you just, need. Just one of those things that you guys need, guys. Of all my Amazon purchases, mm -hmm. we're drinking booch pop in our wine glasses. Just gave her all of her meds, guys. She's so sleepy. All she wants to do is just go in her crate, though. Like, I don't really want her to be in there that much, but she just walks in there anytime I take her out. I just, like, I was looking at old videos and photos of him today. I can't believe he's so big. Okay, we're gonna watch Selena. What's it called again? Insta, I think. Oh, 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 yeah. Fitz is jumping on me. Okay, it is now almost 11. Liz just left, and making like a nighttime tea I've been having like my sleep schedule I feel like is just kind of off even though I don't stay up late but I used to be able to fall asleep no problem and now I feel like I'm really wide awake we were just gonna like to know it up for like the longest time and guys follow me on there everything that I post is linked and it's like so cool to follow other people because it's like following people on Instagram but also everything's linked so it's better this is being so loud I'm back in my room. Imagine how much better my room is going to look with hardwood floors. I cannot wait. Um, I'm currently reading Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. I just started that. It's my fourth Colleen Hoover book in a row. I've read almost all of them, so here we are. Um, but yeah, I have that. I'm about to drink my tea and hopefully go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Just chilling, hanging out at the house with me. Let me know what you guys want to see in vlogs. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.